Hey everyone, it's Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And today I'd like to tell you guys about uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and I hit the max level, not like the max max level 155 or whatever, 156, whatever, uh, but I hit level 55. And it was a good experience. I feel like I learned a lot about the game, like I definitely improved beyond just hey I'm a Call of Duty player you know I learned some of the nuances uh, I found my favorite weapons I even actually made a, a M4 blueprint uh, a custom one that's kinda OP but you know that's how it is in this game and I can say I really enjoyed getting up to level 55 and I like that I can just level up my officer ranks just like in Siege with your rank and it'll get reset every time. I like that I not, you know, the Deagle, all right? One of my favorite my favorite weapons to use. It's a fun weapon to use in this game. I'm happy that I don't have to prestige and then spend a token on it, you know? I, I think this was the natural evolution because if you remember in the old Call of Duties, you prestige and you got a prestige token. So then... What do you spend your token on? Do you spend it on a permanent unlock? Do you spend it on a new class? Do you spend it on double XP? You know, that was kind of your options. And now they got rid of the need to have more than five classes. They have gotten rid of the need to permanent unlock weapons and perks. And, I mean, there's really no use of... With how Call of Duty's been going, there's no use of having prestige levels anymore. Other than, of course, you know, leveling up from 1 to 55, 1 to 55, over and over and over again. I... I kind of think the emblems would be cool, like, I don't know, the officer ranks, if you maxed out, I guess you're supposed to get an emblem, but like, if you maxed out a level, you got an emblem for, you know how at 155 you get the five star general, you get a different emblem for it, like they, like you prestiged in an old Call of Duty. So I don't really have an emblem to look forward to, I noticed, sorry the cat's playing with a circle ball, it's going to get annoying, it's fine. Uh, I really don't see a lot of rewards beyond having all the weapons unlocked all the challenges just give you xp which i guess is cool with you know emblems and stuff i kind of wish that i got weapon blueprints i wish i got emblems or maybe even a camo or a charm god that toy that toy guys it's this ball in a circle and the cats love it and the kittens the two kittens stole it from their big brother and so, they're playing with it. But, yeah, I just, I don't see, beyond unlocking all of the weapons, which is a pretty good reward, I guess, for a casual player like me, I don't see any, like, rewards. I know if you do all the challenges, the ribbon challenges, you get an emblem, but why do they give you XP? Like, you're just gonna hit level 155, like, it's not that hard to level up in this game. I've been hearing it takes an average of two to three days of playtime to reach 155. So why would you need extra challenges for XP? That's a pretty low number in terms of Call of Duty. I mean, I hope that the Battle Pass does something, but even then, I hope that our basic levels, like the way it's set up, it's very clear to me that the Battle Pass, it's going to be somehow related to these officer ranks, I think. It looks like, you know, at level 55, you unlock some sort of rewards in the battle pass, or maybe you just unlock a battle pass. But, like, when it comes to the level themselves, I think if they had a battle pass, it would make more sense to make it so the challenges that you unlock at the officer ranks, which is level 56 through 155, it would make sense if those challenges gave you battle pass progress. You know? Right now, I mean, I don't think it would be that hard for them to include like trials tickets or emblems or calling cards you know i don't like i don't really mind calling cards and emblems but just something for those levels you know maybe like even a progress bar where it was like every 10 ribbons you get you get a, a calling card or an emblem or something something that's not xp because xp right it doesn't matter. If you're an experienced player, like my friend Devin, he has no use of completing these challenges. They don't give him any XP. Like, I mean, they give him XP, but they don't give him 
XP that actually matters. So, you know, I mean, I like the gun challenges. I still don't have any guns gold, which I think is really cool. Uh, you know, a lot of progress that to be made there. I don't have any guns max leveled, although I think if you take all my playtime, I could have had a couple weapons max level by now. But I like trying all the new guns. I like unlocking the attachments. It gets kind of annoying because the first, like, 10 to 15 levels, it's like, Yay, I finally got the the scope, the red dot. I finally got the grip, you know, the basic grip. Then it kind of gets into specialties and stuff like that. Like, the handguns, right? Like, level 10, or up to, like, level 13, I think. It's like, okay, flash idler muzzle brake, thing that makes you aim faster, thing that makes you aim slower but better recoil control, the rubberized grip tape, the extended mag, the lightweight trigger. You know, you get all the same stuff. But after that, it kind of changes a little bit. I'm still curious to see how the handguns are treated in this game. Because I was kind of disappointed when they didn't include so many... Like, they could have included so many handgun attachments. Like, personally, I think it would have been cool if you could unlock a Kimbo for the handguns. And then customize each handgun. So you had, like, I don't know, two Desert Eagles and one had a suppressor and one had a muzzle brake. Or... One had a heavyweight trigger, one had like I don't know. I think that would have been really cool for the pistols. And, I mean, I guess... Oh, we can't really add more attachments, though. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on being max level. It's cool. I had a fun time getting to max level. But now it just kind of seems like there's nothing to do except grinding for the camo challenges, which is really fun. You know, it's fun grinding the camo challenges, but beyond that, I don't know what to do. You know, I guess level up my guns, but I feel like if I'm at 155 and I'm spending my time, especially in my situation where I'm freelance video editing in Walmart, like, why not take on more freelance jobs now to then edit ahead of time so that when my level resets then I can take a couple days off and level up. Why play right now? You know, it's it's an interesting situation. I'm interested to see what they do with the battle pass. I think the lack of the battle pass right now and the lack of like you know, like armor credits or any any sort of end game reward for completing those attachments. Some beast i mean i guess you get an emblem but like there's no reward for playing after you've unlocked all the ribbons and reached level 155 after you play that after you do that there's no grind other than camo challenges i feel like i don't know i feel like it would be kind of cool if we got something else or maybe more levels i don't know you know it's it's hard to say but that's all I got. Um, I I don't know. If a casual can, meet to, can get to 155 pretty easily, like, I mean, I'm not 155 yet, but I could very easily get to it. If a casual gamer like me can get to 155 and there's no real reward for the people that can 100% all the challenges... I don't think there's enough stuff in the game. So, we'll see. That's my uh, kind of video on it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, what do you think? For those of you that actually play this game and not Civilization. Because, well, I like Civilization too. <laughs> I'm Pursuit the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. I'll see you guys in the next one.